Hey guys, it's Tori from My Great Moments, and today I'm going to show you different ways you can use backgrounds for your designs. So I'm going to pull in this blue watercolor gingham background that you can get from my website along with other colors. And say I didn't want to use it as a square. So I do have all these options that Silhouette has, but I want to use the ellipse tool. Now to get a perfect circle, I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard, drag out my circle, and I'm going to hit the escape button on my keyboard so I can get my hand tool back. And I'm going to place this on top of the square where I want it to crop. From here, I'm going to select both of these designs by clicking and dragging, and I'm going to go to the modify button and hit crop. Okay, so now we've got our circle. I could leave it like this, or if I wanted to add an outline, I can go to the line style panel, and I'm going to take my eyedropper. I could select any color in here that I wanted to use. I'm going to use this darker blue, and you'll see you got a very skinny outline around it now. If I wanted to make that thicker, I can just up that size up here. And you can also change the way this looks. I'm going to leave it as a line. Okay, now I'm going to pull in this pelican that is also on my website. Size him down. And now I can add a name. Now I want this to be the same color as his beak, so I'm going to select my eye tool, my eyedropper again, change the line color. Now let's change the fill color, and there we go. So it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to add something else to this background. Now I'm going to select the rectangle tool. I'm going to drag it out on top of my circle. I'm going to select this blue, which I've already taken from this design using my eyedropper tool. Change the fill of it, and now I'm going to change the line of it, the line style. Okay, and now I'm going to select both of these again, and I'm going to go back to my modify panel and hit divide. Now from here, I'm going to select, select the rectangle and hit erase. And now you'll see that triangle, or sorry, that rectangle has filled in. But you will notice they are a little off because I added an outline to my circle and it hasn't been added here. So if you're going to do it the way that we did it, where we added the line first, you can just go back and now add the line to the rectangle, or you can add the rectangle, modify it, and then add this outline to both of these at the same time. And now I'm going to hit group so that they move together. I can add my pelican back once I bring him forward. I can add my text back once I bring it forward. And there we go. Now say you did not like the circle, you wanted to use a different shape entirely, but it's you didn't like these options that Silhouette has for you. I've gone to Google I've typed in scallop circle and I really like the shape of this one, so I'm going to drag it to my desktop. Now do make sure you're not going to do this with somebody's SVG. This is a scallop woodcut die, so this isn't an SVG that somebody's selling that I'm going to be tracing. So I'm going to drag that to silhouette and I'm going to trace it. Okay, so here is my scalp design now. I'm going to pull. Did you see how that happened? Instead of ha using the crop feature like I did for the circle, if you have your circle already or whatever shape already out here, you can take your design, pull it in, and drop it in there just like that. You just have to make sure to get rid of this line now. So I could make it no color by selecting that little thing that has 
diamonds in it or like we did earlier if we want to add the blue outline and then make it a little bit thicker you can do that and you can do the same thing where you were to, you can add the triangle you would hit divide and all that and that's all guys that's different ways that you can use your backgrounds to create a lot of different shapes Hopefully this was helpful. Be sure to check out my website and the other colors that I have at monogrammoments.com. And also be sure to hit subscribe on my YouTube channel. Alright guys, drop any comments if you have any, if you need any further help. Alright, bye.